It's not working. Financial advising has been proven not to work. People are not becoming financially free. The average 401k balance people in their 60s is between 250 and 300,000. That's it. You know, yay, you can almost pull out 10,000 a year. Congratulations, you know. Wow. Way to be average. You know, I don't want mediocre results. I want people to have freedom, right? And that's really yep. what we're trying to create. It's that like you said that holistic approach has to be addressed because the it will give you an example that same dentist I just talked to, right? It, you know, her financial advisor, all he was telling her to do is put her money in mutual funds, sit it and forget it, right? Just let it sit there forever. You know, I started looking at just some of the situation over a few minutes. Uh, one, she was worried about health insurance, right? She's like, oh, I just got quotes. And because she's too rich, um, she, she was being quoted $3,000 a month in the, you know, Obama Affordable Care Act program, right? 3,000 a month. And her highest quote was 4,000 a month. So it was between 3,000 and 4,000 a month. And so I said, you know what? Uh, although I'm health insurance licensed, I'm going to refer you to a guy that actually specializes in that. He's going to talk to you and I guarantee it'll be less than 1,000 a month because I got a similar plan as well. And it's mine's less than 400 bucks a month in my mid 40s, right? For my wife and I. So I said, you're going to get something cheaper. We'll save you at least 2,000 a month. And then we start looking at our mortgage and we're like, well, hey, okay, you got a lot of equity, but you're going to be selling the property. What if we get you to refinance, get a HELOC to pay off that mortgage? Look, we'll actually free up 1700 bucks a month on your mortgage payment, which actually brings her cash flow number down to do that. Time out though, time out though. You got you have to explain why, because you just said, we're gonna pull, we're gonna pull cash out, which increases the mortgage amount. And then mm -hmm. the payment went down because you used a HELOC. So you need to explain why, like, yeah. why did that happen? Yeah. Now we're not even doing a ca like a cash out. We're not even pulling out equity because she was debating about paying off her mortgage in the first place. Her house is worth 1.3 million. She owes $70,000, right? That's mm -hmm. it. And then she's like, yeah, but my payment's 3000 a month. I want to just get rid of it. She's on the tail end of a, of a 30 year mortgage. Exactly. She's got three yep. years left. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I said, well, what's that mortgage rate? She's like, oh, it's like 3.75%. I said, here's what's cool. I'm like, we can actually do some fun things here because we could pull out cash to invest. But the truth is she had enough cash already. She's right. financially independent. She just does it right. So I said, we could pay off the mortgage, but it's not 3000 a month because you live in California. Your mortgage is only going to free up 2000 a month if you pay it off. Hmm. Or we have a HELOC that then pays off the 70000 an interest only HELOC, found one in California at a credit union for 2.49% intro rate for 12 months, which is about the time they're going to live in that house. So two and a half percent interest rate, their payment goes to 170 bucks a month from like 2000, right? So now they're freeing up over 1800 bucks a month right there. So why would we do that? Because it's all about cash flow. It's about, that's what creates real freedom. It's about what is month to month that you're benefiting. Doesn't matter, like you said, doesn't matter how much you have saved up. You can have $3 million sitting around paying you nothing where you're asset rich and cash poor. How do we get that money working for you? So we're like, man, we can free up 2000 a month on your health insurance, at least, and then free up almost 2000 a month on your mortgage. That's already 4000 a month. Her goal of hitting 120000 a year now comes down to now only need to hit 70000 a year. And again, she's got more than enough money to hit that and, and then some. So she's already financially independent this year just by moving things around and getting away from that financial advisor. Hmm. And I think the most, the most compelling thing that you said is that Really, all you did was restructure her life. Fundamentally, mm -hmm. nothing changed. Yeah. Right? She didn't yeah, have exactly. to eat beans and rice. Nope. And, you know, <laughs> she just didn't have to do all that stuff, right? That that did not have to happen. All you mm -hmm. did was take a look through a financial lens and go, hey, there's money leaking out of the bucket here, here, and here. All we have to do is plug the leaks, right? There yep. and and to people who don't do this all the time, this stuff seems like some kind of you know, like magic potion, right? Yeah, you can look at yeah. financials and go, well, here, we'll just fix it. And now you're instead of 140,000 a year, you're at 70,000 a year. And people are like, what, <laughs> yeah. how did that happen? Well, mm -hmm. it's using financial instruments and mm -hmm. different techniques that aren't new. I mean, this stuff nope. isn't new. Nothing you said was like earth shattering. No. It's just people don't know and they're too yeah. busy to sit down and study it and figure it out. In addition to that, Chris, like we've been talking about the whole time, nobody nobody freaking teaches any of this stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I no. would say months turn into years really fast. 
right? Oh yeah. I, mean, I talk to clients all the time that say, oh man, I was going to do that this year and it just flew by, right? So having someone in your corner that keeps you on course, right? Has mm -hmm. a big advantage um, in making sure, even Speed if you easy. knew all the things, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And making sure you actually take action.